The Jacob Media Sports Network, in partnership with 97.3 ESPN, brings you the Mays and Aton Show. Middays with Harry Mays and Aton Shander. Now, it's the Midday Show with Harry Mays and Aton Shander on 97.3 ESPN Radio. All right, Harry, I, I can't sit here and do two hours of Phillies. No. And I can't sit here and, and talk about temperature for the Philadelphia Eagles. No. I can't talk about We don't about, do that on this show. I, I honestly don't know what you want to talk about there locally. Is, there is no thermometer on this show. No like, gauge. We don't take temperatures. We don't judge gauging of, of fan base. Okay, no. that, that, We've done all that. Okay? I'm willing to do this. If there is anybody out here in our listening audience that is a chiropractor that happens to be off today, I'm willing to shell out two hundred dollars for an on-site. You need an adjustment, because by, by the Lima just went uh, to the chiropractor this morning. Oh, I'm like, I I don't know what happened, but from eight a.m. this morning to when I was up in Adam mm-hmm. to right now, something has happened to where I I feel like I thought you were just at the doctor this morning. Well, that was a different. That, oh, that wasn't yeah. a chiropractor. Oh, so you got another issue? Well, no, that was just more just checking and stuff. Th- this is more about like I, I don't even know. So I'm I'm already in in. A kink of the neck mood. Okay. All right. Well, that, that you know that that should make for a good show. I hope. Uh, I hope because I understand um, that we did more Phillies discussion yesterday. We did a whole twenty-three minute segment, and then I didn't it, think it was possible. I know. Well, you Frank Close it. aided us. Well, Frank Close. We, it was all because yeah. of Frank. Let's right. be honest. It had yeah. nothing to do much to do with us, but. I understand. Plus, we sprinkled in some others. So we probably did 26 minutes of Phillies discussion At least, yes. In a two-hour show. And I was told by Jeff Mosher that that is way more than there was discussed on the Gill show yesterday. Is that right? On the Sports Bash. And I'm like, man, it's an impending sign of the apocalypse. Now, why would that be? Phillies. I don't know. But then I was also. What the hell else were they talking about? Well, Russell Westbrook hadn't been traded yet. Right. I think they were doing a little. Well, they had football discussion at 4 o'clock with McMullen every day. Well, they had to kill two hours to get there, though. Well, I know. I know. But I'm saying I was ripped. I heard through the grapevine. Ripped like me? That I was ripped. Oh, oh on I, their show. I thought you meant you were just at home ripped. No, no. Well, that too. <laughs> that, that, that also occurred. Okay. I smoked a cigar yesterday on my new front porch furniture, which actually has a, a roof over me, so I can sit out in, when it rains now. Nice. It's not on my deck where I'm, like, forced I can't go out and smoke. Now I smoke on the front when it rains, and I enjoyed the afternoon in a nice shower for about two hours, smoking a nice cigar and drinking well, some Well, the shower cocktails. was in two hours. The shower was longer than the rain hours. shower. That yeah, you, yeah. I am at a point. I wish you could see the studios right now. I'm going to show you a picture. The river has flooded. Oh yeah, I'm sure so, it did. We got almost two inches of rain last yesterday. It's insane. I've never seen the river so high. It's now the docks that I live by. Right. You can't access the docks. Oh They've wow. They've been flooded. Okay. Now I don't mean like the dock as far as the actual dock where the boats are. The launch. To the docks. Sure. That's how much the river, the Schuylkill River, has come and up. it's probably all brown, too, right? It's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. But, I, I couldn't stand it. Yeah, we got in one, one and three-quarter inches of rain, I think, yesterday afternoon. But the other thing, I was saying, you know, while I was doing that, I put up a poll on my Twitter feed, at Harry Mays TU. Yeah, I saw this. It, did you see that? Now, it looked like the uh, afternoon guys were ripping you on that, too, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. That I think that was the rip. I tried to, well, to have the, the audio. Well, hold on a second. But we don't have the audio. All right, let's, let's just set the scene here, all right? Harry and I are at Parks Casino, as we are here from noon to 2 on 97.3 ESPN. We've got a lot of things going on, including we're going to give you $250. All you need to do is go to parkscasino.com slash fan. Type in our promo code SPORTS, parkscasino.com slash fan. Type in our promo code SPORTS, and you'll get a risk-free bet of $250. Maybe you don't want to use $250. That's fine. Up to $250 you can use. It's insane what we're doing. There's no contest. You don't need to give us something in order for us to register you, like your all-time favorite eagle who wore the number 30. Nothing like that. Just go to parkscasino.com slash fan. Type in the promo code SPORTS to get your risk-free bet up to $250. All right. All right. With that said, you and I are here. Josh Henning is back there. Hunter's back there. Our crew is back there. But usually Mike Gill lingers for a little bit. Sometimes. And I wonder if Mike is still there in studio or if he used the opportunity of us coming on the air. Uh, he just see, left, you see? Just left. Yeah. I imagine. Now he knew I wanted to talk about yep. this because I went through him and Josh to yep. try to get the audio, and the audio is unavailable. So we were going to probably have him on to discuss exactly what went down because I put a poll up yesterday. 
in the afternoon that said, bad basketball poll, you must watch one. And the choices were the big three or the NBA Summer League. And I think that was the the subject of their rip. Now, I would add one more that I saw somebody What, add. WNBA? Yeah. They, well, you, you I didn't want to be considered remorse. sexist for that. Well, listen, a big okay. three is rating higher than the I, WNBA. I'm a misogynist, and everybody knows it. Okay, but if do I'm going to crank put, your AC? Yes, I do. I, I put If I put that on there, then I really look bad. I considered it, but then I thought better of it. Well, at least you had two male sports. Yeah. So it's not like it was just bad basketball or, or like, what would you rather do, watch the WNBA or be thrown off a building? No, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that out there. Well, that could be Mr. I'd rather Shrewd watch the Sasha. WNBA. Yeah, I think I'd take a long, hard look at how far I'd be thrown. You know, the, I know people that bet the WNBA. Well, we're at Parks Casino. I know. Yeah, have, yeah. have you ever had a You can get action on that it's here. The w, I, I've seen the WNBA big board, Yeah, the right? Minnesota Lynx against the Atlanta Dream. Is that up there? Oh, yeah, yeah I can yeah. see it. And the NY Liberty. Versus the Chicago Sky. And the L.A. Sparks against the Indianapolis Fever or the Indiana Fever. I mean, you can, you can bet on anything here. Oh, my goodness. Now, would you take a flyer on the Houston Rockets now that they have the big trade last night? Well, and i got to give you credit because well, I know you were battling people. I yeah. saw your tweet. Yeah. You were on record all of the last two weeks saying that Chris Paul's contract could be moved. Absolutely. Okay, and you were right. They were able to move it, and they were Not able to move it. Not that you said that they couldn't. No, right. but I'm saying, like, I think people were accusing you probably of saying the opposite. I get accused of a lot of stuff. I can just, I can attest to this. Yes. You've said it on this show multiple Absolutely. times. Absolutely. That that's a movable deal. In fact, all contracts eventually can yeah. be moved in the NBA. And you know where it originated from was the fear of paying Jimmy Butler the five-year max. Right. And, and getting s- stuck with absolutely. a bad deal in years four and five Absolutely. Or right? And just illustrating that any amount of money, it's the NBA. Which is like a Chris Paul right. deal right now. Seriously. Yeah. 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 And Russell Westbrook is like a guy who's still owed, what, four years of a super max deal. And he's 31. Yeah, he'll be 31 right at the yeah. start of the year. Yeah. The guy, let me ask you this question. I, I was thinking about this. Do you know, it, it reminded me of Iverson, right, where I don't know if you can find anybody outside of Iverson or Westbrook. And maybe there is. It's not Kobe. It's definitely not Kobe. You have to have a minimum of 10 years. I mean, he played there 11 years. He was the heart and soul of that organization of when you Thunder. look back. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Iverson played here for, he was traded in his 11th year. Mm-hmm. So a guy who had as much of a volatile relationship with everybody, fans, teammates, front coaches, office, yeah. coaches, as Russell Westbrook, his relationship with everybody around him was the exact way in which he plays the game. Mm-hmm. It's it's fast paced. It's yeah. reckless. In your face. In your face. Yeah. It's successful yeah. at times. Right. It's imploding at times. Yeah. I mean, I don't rem- I don't know of anybody other. And and listen, we can go back to Ted Williams. You can go back to as far as you want in sports, but the minimum criteria would be that you spend at least a decade with your team. Mm-hmm. But people weren't running away. Kevin Durant ran away from this guy. He's a Hall of Famer. Right. Paul George said, listen, I like you, buddy, but I don't love you. Yeah, I'm yeah, in love I, with I love Kawhi. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And James Harden, it's not like well, he it was his choice. Cho- and yeah. I was going to say, it's not yeah. like it is, it's his choice, but I think Sam Presti looked at it like that's not going to work as far as an, a moving forward I'm fit. really anxious to see how it's going to work if it does in Houston. Well, Dan Tony, You Dan talk Tony, about man. two guys that need want the ball in their hands at all times. It's those two guys. I don't. Does Harden? I don't feel like Harden has the implosion factor, though, right? I don't know. He's he's kind of a. I don't really know what he's all about. I just know he likes to have the ball and score. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. You know, although and he don't like playing defense. No, no, no. He's he's gotten better. Oh yeah, West, yeah, he's great. Well, no, no, no. Listen, he's he's not like Damian Lillard has significantly improved, but I I wouldn't say that. But I don't think he's any more. I'd I'd say this. I think he's a better defender now than Steph. Yeah, I never regarded Steph as a defender either. That's fair. Six zero nine four zero three zero nine seven three. So what happened? What were they saying to you exactly? But how? You know how? Before we get to that, oh, real quick on the text board, okay. I'd rather you kill two hours talking about chili dogs than hear about the Phillies. All caps. Football is king. Talk we're, anything Eagles, you'll be fine. We're going to talk Eagles today. We are going to talk uh, Eagles with our guy, I, Mike K. What time? NJ.com, 1 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, we're only, uh, he only has about 10 minutes because he's like, listen, nothing's going on, man. I'm on a vacation. Oh, really? Yeah. When I went, I, what, I, what, I, you want to kill 23 I minutes he, with K? Well, that's what Gil would do. Maybe we can brand the segment Killing 23 with K. Killing 23. <laughs> yeah. Who's the, our guest today? Hashtag <laughs> Killing 23. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, wow. That's a pretty good I'll tell you what. We can get it imaged and yeah, everything. Yeah, absolutely. All right, today we're killing 23 with K. We can even roll off the tongue if it's a guest and even if it's not somebody that has a K name. And 23 ain't LeBron. No, no. Okay? No, 23 is it's hard pressed to find. We killed 23 Phillies minutes with Gil. Or yeah. what's, I mean, with Close. What's Gil is there? No, he's not. I didn't hear what Josh said. I, I don't know. All right. What did they say exactly? But at least, at least Westbrook isn't with Miami. No, I wanted right? him to be with Miami. Oh, you did? Yeah, I wanted now to Chris see Paul's that. Paul's probably going to end up in Miami. Yeah, which is like, look at look at where um, look at where Pat Riley is right now. Yeah. I mean, think about where a couple of people are right now. You think Sam Presti went into this offseason thinking, you know what? I'm going to trade two Hall of Famers. Mm-hmm. That's just, this is my goal. Is to, no, this this all happened in less than a week. We're not even a full week away they got about from 10 Paul George. Draft, draft picks. Yeah, that's fine, but you, we've been through that. Yeah, I know. I would, know. would you wish that upon another fan base? I would not. Well, I don't, I, you know, I don't care. I mean, you know. No, but I'm saying. Like, they had a great what, run, man. They had, they had three of the greatest players in the NBA for a long period of time. One on NBA off, Finals. Off and on. I know. It, was, it totally didn't deliver. No. But at least they got the enjoyment of watching those guys for a bunch of years. Do you think that in hindsight, mm, this is tough. Let's apply it here. If we had the same principle, if we had, those, if we had that, this is why I bring it up. Well, that's a cautionary tale. Because we could be looking five, six years down the road with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid and having no rings. Somebody might get traded ahead of time. Not one of those two, but you never know how this thing works, right? right? It's not going to be Al Horford. Maybe maybe a deal comes up when you move on. You never know how it works. The point of it, though, is that if you saw that, if you saw what the Thunder fans saw for the last 11 years, Mm -hmm. do you think you're happier or more pissed off? You've had... See, I think you had it, here three we, Hall of Famers at one point on the same team. Here we would be pissed off because we're Northeast people, okay? We demand excellence. But down there you in don't Oklahoma think so? City, they're just lucky to have a team. Like, that's the only professional sports franchise of note in that, in that state. Oklahoma football is more of a professional for, True. You know, force in that state than the Oklahoma City Thunder. They probably get paid better than half the guys on the team anyway. You know, everybody in the arena wears the blue t shirts when they put them on the seat backs in that city. They're, they're different than us. So you think that would be the difference for us here? Is that we would look at it like a squandered effort? Yes, absolutely. We look at the Phillies as a squandered effort. Oh eight, that oh eight, no nine. That they only won one yeah. World Series, and these guys didn't even win anything. Right, and they only got it to one Finals. Right, right, which is hard to believe. So you ask if I'd take a flyer on the Rockets? I was supposed to put two hundred down on the Jazz today. They're eight to one now with the Sixers. The Rockets. They moved up from ten to one to yeah. eight to one. Right. Yeah. I saw. I thought it was seven to one. No. Uh, what is it here? I'm we'll not, have to look at the sure, NBA futures. But, but either way, it's going to be one or the other now. So are you going to give me an out? Like, yes, would you g- I'll give you The one out. out for the Jazz would be the Rockets, right? Uh, yes. I, I mean, Mike D'Antoni is going to win a championship, really? Yeah, I don't, you I don't, you want me to put $200 on that? I don't know about that. I think I'd rather stick with the Jazz. Seriously. Yeah, really. At this point, I, I rather than bring back Quinn Snyder. You can make a case that the that the Lakers have a better roster than, than, than anybody. No Clippers. No, but I mean, what the, about the depth though? Look at the depth of the, Cl- the well, Clippers. Who, who is it besides Montrez, Harold, no, no. and uh, Lou Will? Lou Will. They got a. They got. Who um, else do they have as depth? That's, I know they have Beverly. In the, you know, yeah, there. they brought really Beverly back. Um, I my internet is down, so okay. I have to pull this up here. But if you look at the actual, if you look at one through ten, they've got a pretty stacked squad because i really thought the lakers did a pretty good job after they waited and got stiff yeah they used Kawhi. the money well. i thought they did a pretty decent job of signing some you know some guys no you're right you're right so they've got this is their second unit lou williams landry shamit okay. rodney magruder mo harkless montrez harrell all right Th- those harrell and uh harkless started last year yeah he, he was a draft pick of the sixers he was out of st was. john's Sh- like, like that's but a- shamit and uh and Har- and Harold, Harold will, or that make that a pretty good. Well, Lou Williams yeah. is still. Wasn't Harold the runner-up for Sixth Man of the Year last year? I'm not sure. Or like number three or something like yeah, that. I'm not sure. So that's a. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then that center, we all forget about that center, Zubac, Zubac, Zub- Zubaz. Yeah. <laughs> those I, are those I, ugly pants. I know. How do you pronounce his name? I don't know. Isn't it Zubac? Yep. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you that Zubac. That guy, that guy's uh, pretty legit. Okay. So you've got, I mean, the Clippers, Zubac. the Clippers are, are set right now <laughs> to sit Kawhi Leonard another 60 games. Yeah, like, right. Kawhi Leonard's not playing more than 60 games this year. 
if he were to play as many, if he were to play seven, let's just say he were to play 78 games, they might win 70 games. They're that deep. You think so? Look at that second unit, man. That second unit is, is an Eastern Conference playoff All right, well, what's the team. second unit for the Lakers? Can you pull that I up? I can definitely pull that up. But I'm saying that's a, that second unit makes the playoffs in the East. Uh, <laughs> as a starting five. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. probably right. I mean, that's, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, my goodness, man. But anyway, yeah, I don't exactly. I'll, I'll pull it off. The, I don't exactly know what Gill and Mosher. I'm sure Mosher was involved in it too. All right. I love getting ripped, but I'd like yeah. to be able to hear it. Well, that's that, the, that's you know, the, that's we're working the thing. on it. We're working on it. All right, second unit. Well, first off, you know their their starting five is doesn't blow you away. Well, they got Kuzma. They got you Kuzma, got LeBron, James, and you got Davis. AD. Yeah. Danny Green was was too up and down for me to rely to put him in that Kuzma category. Rondo's just back. I mean, right. he's a body. And the second, second unit, unit is not, not bad. No, not defensively. Quinn Cook and good. Avery Badley are, yeah. you know, Bradley's a good defender. KCP. Yep. Contavious Caldwell Pope. We Dudley don't... had a nice playoffs against the Sixers. Nah, I mean, he's, nah come on. He yeah, fell he's apart. a ninth, tenth man. He fell apart. And uh, Demarcus Cousins, okay. Who's, who was, who yeah, was, he was good, a shell of himself. And then a I would, I would anticipate him being better next year. Let's hope. The good thing is they got JaVale McGee right. to step in. Okay. So. Yeah, but that's going to be a good battle. You, do you I'm right looking now? Forward to that. Right now, do you give the edge? I, I you got to think about LeBron too, bouncing back after a year of no playoffs where he has a, more rest. Right. I would anticipate him, you know, with a with a good year. He didn't have a bad season statistically no, by any means, but Kawhi Leonard was just off the charts. It's hard for me to think though that LeBron James' injury was gave way to Kawhi like Michael Jordan retiring gave way to Olajuwon. Mm. I mean, Kawhi Leonard was yeah, he something was special. spectacular. Yeah, man, I can't wait for this thing. I know. Me Russell too. Westbrook and oh, and James Harden to one. and Capella. It's not a bad team, man. Yeah, it's really not a bad team. Remember, they they went on this fire sale, and the only guy they moved was Chris Chris Paul. Paul. Yeah, who will probably get moved again. Right. Right. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. All right. So we've got Deadwood coming up before Mike K. Now we'll do what four and five today. Four and five. I'm I'm actually through seven. I watched seven nice. this morning. I'm telling you, I'm so into this show. Yeah, so this is, it's an amazing show. I'm telling and you. Doesn't it piss you off that you know this thing is just I know. cut short? Yeah. I, episode five blew me away. Was that the fight? Yes. Okay, now there was something else that happened in that episode, I don't too, want to right? get into it yet, but right. uh, we'll do it at 12.50, 12.45. Yeah, but, but I thought something else happened in that episode as well. My right? reaction to episode five, you're going to love it. Nice. Hey, I can't wait. I'm right. telling you. I can't wait. It was like a sporting event. I love it. <laughs> Guys, I've been saying for years, Westbrook is today's Iverson. This is on the yeah, text board. 609 uh, 609 A longer, taller version and faster version. 0973. Yeah. You're right. They're both completely overrated. Well, I, all right. They're both completely. This is the text board, Ari. They're both completely overrated ball hogs that you can't win with. <laughs> Everyone lives off their one finals appearance and not off their numerous first round exits. Mm-hmm. I, I think. Westbrook right now legacy is that at the moment. I think Le- Westbrook's yeah. legacy and story is unfortunately that. It's it, kind of like yeah. AI. He got the one finals. Well, there, there's also, though, as much as we discuss and look back and reflect on how but difficult he had better it players was. around him well, than that's AI. Well, that's the point, though, yeah. is as difficult as it was to build around Iverson, they never had the, those talents to fail Two with. Two other Hall of Famers. No. They never had that talent to fail with. You say Thunder. three, because Paul George would be in the Hall of Fame, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At, well, there's three total, right? Right. No, four. Four Hall of Famers that were on the team. Paul George. Including did, Westbrook. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I think at that point, if you are an owner and you look at, like, I don't know how Sam Presti still has a job at I this know. point. It's really? not all his fault, but my goodness, man. You look back and say, what What have you gotten? One finals yeah. appearance in 10 years? Look at all that you had. With four NV, uh, four f- Hall of Famers? Yep. And what do you have now? 21st Scotty round picks? Scotty Brooks and Billy Donovan. Rolling you the know? ball out for three guys, yeah. and you couldn't make it past the – you couldn't beat anybody. Unbelievable. Well, and they had Ibaka. Ibaka may end up being a Hall of Famer. Do you think? Nah. You know, I think it's, it's pretty – is it close? Is it? I don't, think I don't so. know. I haven't looked at his numbers. But, well, he's, but he's a really good player. Yeah, he's, he's really an international. I mean, he might make it for international things. I, I don't know he's if he's. probably a, not. He's probably not. But he was a really good player. Yeah, they had, they had other. A couple right. Years. They had other talent. It's not, it wasn't just those four guys and nobody else. Right. They had other talent around him. Steven Adams was a really good basketball player in the NBA. He's for, still there, right? No. He's now. Oh, he oh, yeah. He's still there, yeah, right? He's still he just there. canters out um, to Boston. But that's the thing. Is, yeah, through Portland. Correct. Yeah. You have. 
you actually have some good talent. You had great talent and good talent yeah. around this guy. Ibaka's for, good talent. Yeah, I would yeah. say that. Good talent. You know, good, good, decent talent. Who played really well for the Raptors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was a big boost off of their bench Absolutely. in the playoffs. Absolutely. At Harry Mays to you at Shander Show. We're live at Parks Casino, 97.3 ESPN and the 97.3 ESPN app. Man, I might have to bump it up to $300 if somebody could fix my For back. a chiropractor. Maybe the chiropractor that works on the, on the Lima can take and make a house call out here. Does he do house calls? I don't know. Where is he located? Over in Villanova. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can tell. It's like collarbone level. Okay. Yeah, the collarbone might be out. You got a, you got a nerve pinched in there. Something, man. Yeah. All right, I've been now, watching. You know what it is? It, it, I have a kink from holding the phone up, walking the dog, watching Stranger Things. Uh huh. My goodness, See, you got to stop suffering through stop the show. Watching this stuff. I'm on season two right now of the show, man. And okay. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going There's on. There's the obligatory water spill. Yeah. Well, that least... last happened at Dunphy Ford, where you dumped uh, half a gallon of water on their showroom floor. Yeah, but they had, they had the, to bring the mop out. They, well, they had the super space age polymer there. They do. So the water just goes right into the cracks. Right. You can't, so you can't it's even, like a, it's like a super wax yeah. on that floor, man. Well, they're ready for people like me just to right. walk around looking at cars dropping stuff everywhere. <laughs> My goodness, man! All right, what now, are we going to do? Today? Let's go to Josh, okay? Because Josh was at least in the studio when I they believe, were ripping you. When they were ripping me, he was okay. doing something else. Oh. Which is why he wasn't recording the audio. Real quick, on the text board, 609-403-0973. Don't forget, OKC also had Oladipo, who they traded for Paul George. Remember, that's oh, true. No- yeah, that's another guy that he was there for a short All time. All that talent. Wow. All right, Josh, how bad was this thing, man? I think it just depends on your perspective. Well, I'm hoping it's, it's really good. Well, here's the problem. It was, from my perspective, perspective in the studio it came off more of as like a side comment than an actual like let's get on top of harry here so side comments can still be underhanded yeah oh i didn't say it wasn't underhanded i just didn't feel like i didn't feel like they really singled harry out as much as oh we see this on twitter let's talk about it oh well what okay what did they say so so it was the poll question right right and you know basically gill's a basketball junkie you know he'll 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 watch watch anything he, he watches the 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 tournament in yeah. August, you know, with the with the guy like Aaron Kraft from Ohio State. Yeah, he, Ohio he, needs, he needs a life. So did they take offense to this? It sounds like they took offense to it. I don't think they took offense to it. I think they were basically just, basically Gil's thing was him and he was asking Jeff, well, what would you rather watch? And oh, then so basically I gave him some they, content. What's that? I gave him some content. Oh, of course you did. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. So what was the answer? Basically, we found out by the end of the hour that Gil will watch anything basketball. Jeff won't watch almost anything basketball. And that I watch way more Wimbledon than both of them combined. Wimbledon? What? Wimbledon. How'd that get into the conversation? Tennis doesn't even, like, show up on my radar. Me neither. <laughs> Jesus. How did that get inserted what into the, the conversation? What the hell are we talking about? What, what, what is this, Mad Dog Russo? <laughs> Seriously. We're going to go through the brackets of Wimbledon? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, Serena. <laughs> I mean, come on. No, Serena. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, okay, okay. The Dahl and Federer are playing right now. So. Oh, great. Yeah, we have it up here on the big board. You can come out. I'm sure you – now, is there in-game betting in tennis? Can you switch up off sets and stuff? I don't know. I don't know. It's 40 love. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, 30 love. Uh, all the money on Federer for the point. Now, I don't know. I mean, can uh, you do in-game betting on tennis? I, that, to, I don't to know. To what level? I, I, I have no idea. I would. I mean, think about this. Let's apply Let's not that. worry about it. I would love to worry about that oh, right Seriously. Now. What else you got to worry about right I'm now? Not going it's down. Friday at the end of July. You want me to take the temperature of Carson no, Wentz fans? I am not going down an in-game wagering question For on Nadal tennis. Federer? <laughs> well, look, he's not wants to know how he's going to spend that. Guy, Federer? You want to show me how you're going to spend that free two hundred fifty dollars, right? Right, right? Well, that's true. You know, Harry, we're just giving people away two hundred fifty dollars here at Parks. Great call. <laughs> Don't diss the Joker. Does he call him that? No, no, no he doesn't. Russo's no. above. He doesn't go in. He doesn't go in nicknames. No, he's way above. He has too much reverence for the sport. Absolutely, too yeah. much respect. Yes.